Today marks the anniversary of the September 11, 2001, where al-Qaeda extremists hijacked four airplanes and carried out suicide attacks against targets in the United States. So around 3,000 people were killed during the 9-11 terrorist attacks, which triggered major U.S. initiatives to combat terrorism and defined the presidency of George W. Bush. So more, more on this. Let's chat now to international relations analyst Prof. John Stremlau on the fight against terrorism and how this has shaped relations between America and the rest of the world. Good morning to you, Prof. Thanks indeed for joining us here on the program. So without a doubt, the September 11 attacks shaking the entire world and it's still a day that will be remembered for many years to come. How has all of this you know, affected or shaped relations between America and the rest of the world? Well, that's a big question, Casalda, and thank you very much for having me. But this is a, a, a moment to reflect, I guess. Uh, 20 years uh, went by very quickly, but I was here when the 9-11 uh, struck, and uh, I was uh, had my wife in Washington, D.C., and the planes were flying over uh, her office. And so it, um, it was very personal uh, to me, and I thought it was very good that uh, W. Bush at the time said that this is not an attack uh, by Muslims, it's an attack by terrorists, and he did not want to see this become an anti-Muslim uh, campaign within the United States. But in fact, the sympathies for the U.S. were outpouring and many-fold. Uh, it was the first time that NATO had invoked uh, the, the collective self-defense provision uh, under Article 5, yeah. uh, and, and, uh, and yet uh, you're right to, to point to how uh, this affected America's relations in the world because America was riding high in 19, um, uh, in 2001, as you know. Uh, Bill Clinton had been in the White House, and uh, there was an arrogance about America uh, as the sole superpower uh, that uh, was punctured by the 9/11 attacks, and uh, and and the, the the events that followed it. Um, spoke to the accelerated decline of America's role in the world, largely by the uh, uh, ill-starred ill uh, invasion and then nation-building pro project in, uh, in, in Iraq by, uh, uh, by W. Bush. Uh, and, and I could go on and on, but I yeah. think you better uh, uh, ask me another question before <laughs> I do, because I don't want to be professorial here. <laughs> yeah, Prof. I mean, I think it was in August of 2001 that, uh, my memory serves me well, the United States withdrawing the last of its troops uh, from Afghanistan, ending its military presence there after nearly about 20 years. Um, you know, has this helped with easing some of the tensions? Well, it, it is, again, a complicated uh, a picture yeah. that, that um, uh, in the one hand, uh, W. Bush, um, by going into Iraq, uh, took the eye off the ball of uh, containing the terrorists and responding to al-Qaeda that was based in Afghanistan at the time of the attacks. Uh, it wasn't until uh, the Obama administration that uh, bin Laden was was found, located, and killed in um, Pakistan, as you know. Yeah. And um, the nation-building project that was pursued in uh, under false pretenses in Iraq uh, so damaged the U.S. Uh, mm -hmm. image. Indeed, Tabu and Becky here was furious uh, about it. And and uh, then the the withdrawal of Iraq uh, from uh, Afghanistan finally in 2021 that you referred to by by Joe Biden was very, very messy indeed. And it looked um, both domestically and internationally like uh, uh, um, America had lost its footing. Uh, mm. This has been recovered uh, by the invasion of, Iraq, of, of Ukraine by the Russians and the United Front that the West put on uh, uh, with regard to that. But your question was more to terrorism. Yes. And I think the battle against terrorism is largely successful except that it's now moved to the threat it's now moved to africa in in, uh, in in east africa the horn and now into nigeria and west africa if we look at the uh, taliban takeover uh, in 2021 uh, the united states is stopping the provision of assistance for the purpose of reconstruction of afghanistan what did that then mean 
Well, the, the, the debate about the way in which the um, withdrawal was uh, uh, carried out yeah. and the miscalculations on the part of the United States has not been resolved. And, and, and I wouldn't e even de deign to say who's right and who's wrong other than it looked terrible. It did not uh, suit uh, America's uh, reputation for responsible uh, statecraft uh, very well at all. And uh, and yet it's now largely uh, forgotten. Uh, Biden has had a uh, victory against Al Zawari, uh, the the, uh, the leader of Al Qaeda, and it's a reminder again that the anti-terrorism efforts by the U.S. Uh, that have involved a lot of governments around the world have generally been effective, except that, as I say, uh, the spillover effect has been secondarily the, to 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 disrupt. Uh, uh, peace and tranquility in Africa and polarize communities uh, in, 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 in Africa. Uh, but, uh, but in terms of, uh, of Al Qaeda, it's a pale shadow of itself. Now, uh, there are other splinter groups that have emerged and of course out of Syria and the like, they, you, you have a, a very different um, uh, involvements. Uh, and uh, and and uh, the, the the Russians are playing their games in 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 the in the in Ukraine and and in the rest of the world. Uh, so the game of nations goes on, but the terrorist attack in in 9/11, you're right to point to, was a defining moment for uh, America. And I regret that uh, W. Bush used it as an excuse to go into Iraq. His father was much more measured in his response to Saddam's attack on yeah. Kuwait, and he had the international community behind him. You also have, you know, some uh, criticism, um, and I'd want your response to this, where some governments are accused of, um, you know, uh, clamping down on dissenting voices under the guise of fighting terrorism. Uh, what is your response to that? Do we see that happening? Yes, you do see that happening, and it's a you 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 remind me of a very big subject that you ought to devote some attention to, which is the threat of uh, of, of misusing uh, terrorist threats and uh, misusing uh, the communication networks that SABC uh, responsibly tries to keep open to foster public debate in the democratic process, because the the governments of the world. Uh, are, are want to stay in power, and and the autocratic members of that community uh, tend to manipulate uh, information uh, ruthlessly, uh, and and also give give false pretenses for for advancing their autocracy. Uh, one sees that with the the Trump forces in the United States right now. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, the perhaps you you could argue the RET forces here in 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 South Africa. Um, because uh, there, there is a desire to, to a state capture that is uh, endemic to, to, to those of ambition and, and not of a democratic spirit. And just finally, Prof, I mean, have there been any achievements or failures that we can point out to in Afghanistan since the withdrawal of the United States? Well, it's 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 too early to know uh, what will happen to that troubled land. It it yeah. does sound terrible for for women, and and yet um, uh, the, the the U.S. had had turned that uh, project into a nation building project, which was uh, I think now totally discredited. Um, uh, what what we'll see in in Ukraine is that the Ukrainian people should be getting on with their business of building their own nation, and we are a world of nation states. So, so the South Africa uh, uh, American uh, relationship yeah. is one of the most interesting ones between two the democracies that have had had uh, histories of, of of great human rights abuse, criminal human rights abuses, but yet are struggling to, like the Europeans, uh, to turn themselves into more transparent and responsible stakeholders in the international community. Prof, really appreciate it. Thanks, indeed. The anniversary of uh, the 9/11 terrorist attacks. That was international relations analyst Prof. John Stremler.